Hey there and welcome to another Dave Does video and today we're doing a top 10 challenge. <coughs> we're doing the Eduardo Alves list uh, and we are checking out Alter Bridge <coughs> Forever Fallen. Uh, it's the second song of Tremonti has a, as a lead singer. Another strong song of walking the so, strong song of walking the sky. Oh, off of walking the sky, which I think is the album. Yes, sorry, uh, I was just reading your reason for picking the song. So uh, I believe it. English isn't your main language. I think from previous comments, we've all conversations we've had through comments, etc. So I think I'm getting what you mean by that. It's another strong song off of Walk the Sky. Uh, so yeah, let's go check them out. I haven't done any Alter Bridge for a while. Uh, I did a lot of Alter Bridge on the old channel, Musicians React. Uh, haven't had much request. Although going through the top 10 challenges, there are quite a few more of those coming up over the next few days, so I'll be doing those. Uh, <coughs> apologies for me coughing, unfortunately, I'm not too well at the moment doing these videos, uh, but it's a great opportunity while we're doing this uh, whole isolation piece to uh, get some videos done because uh, I'm a little bit backed up on some of your requests. So I'm just going to try and get through them over the next few days while we're doing the whole isolation piece. So let's get to this. Uh, if you like this video, please do subscribe, click the like on like, share the comments down below. Uh, please get involved with all the challenges. Uh, if you want to support the channel, you can do Patreon, priority video requests, right inside craft shop, and of course, band camp for the band Nothing Gained. If you want to check out some of the music I'm working on, another, which is another thing I'm going to be doing while I've got all this time on my hands. Uh, trying to work on some new tracks, new ideas, working on old songs, etc. But please go check it out on Project 42 and Reverb Nation. This will be a scored reaction. We score it out of 10. 10 categories is going to come whizzing across the screen. Uh, apparently, this is a lyric video, so we're going to go check that one out. Uh, counting it in. 3, 2, 1, go! Uh, it's just like, as soon as I click the button, it's straight in. Guitar wise, it actually. He has such a distinctive guitar tone. It actually reminds me more guitar-wise of the Tremonti albums than it does some of the other Water Bridge stuff I've heard. It should make me think this is basically a Tremonti driven track rather than a Miles track. Not just vocally, but obviously who wrote them. Cool riff. I'm always interested to see the difference between a Tremonti album and a Bridge album. He's got a great voice. See, this would definitely just this was that wouldn't sound out of place at all in the Monty album. So it tells you how much of an influence he is on the writing of the Monty Bridge. I can't work out if that's Mark harmonising with himself or if that's Miles harmonising with Mark for the second part of the vocals there. Very hooky. Great vocal as well. Down. Actually, if you rock out, you can make it. 
some of the riffs. I don't think it took much about the rhythm section of obviously the auto pushing up the bass and the drums because they are such a tight unit. Real solid groove line uh, and then strong dynamics. Add so much to the song. They also get lost behind the brilliance of the two miles of mine. of the trunk bar. Must, must be holding that girl bar. So it's more unless he's grabbing, but I mean if they're picking up the trunk bar and just doing that and it's like uh school. Might as well need to fix the trunk bar on mine. Okay. Alter Bridge and Forever Fallen. Long ass fade out on this song. Okay, cool track. Uh, really liked his vocals, really, really strong. As I said, it sounded like it, it could have easily just been on any other Tremonti album. So it tells you obviously how much he's written that song. Uh, and that's why I'm always intrigued when you've got such two strong songwriters like Miles and Mark, how their songs come together. Is there, do they have a certain criteria of how many songs got on the album, or is it just who's brought the best songs? Do you go where well, you get to pick four and you get to pick your four and then they go on, or. Uh, and is it all written by Miles, his songs, and then Mark adds his embellishments, or does you kind of come in with a rough idea? I'm, I'm intrigued, because you'll always find in a band there'll always be sort of one main lead writer, but you've got two in there. Um, I know how it worked with my old band, Enough and Gain, where there would be kind of two of us that would predominantly write songs. Uh, and then we would work those over together once we got the rough ideas, and we'd, throw, we'd kind of come up with the songs between us, and then that would be the track. And it would go off to be have the vocals written on it, and then maybe the solo would either be written or we'd give it to the guitarist to go and write the solo. Uh, but generally, there would be the two of us would write the song, get it all structured, get it all put together, and then we'd take it in the studio. Everyone learns the parts, and then we kind of just tw tweak it and work on the dynamics. Uh, and I'm just I'm intrigued. I'm just intrigued with Walter Bridge about how that works with those two such strong writers. Um, but yeah, really, really cool. Great solo. Loved use of the trem arm. You can hear it. It's either he's picking up and just slamming down at certain points and then releasing, or he's got it in his hand and he's playing and he's just pitch bending the strings. So you can hear it just when the pitch just drops. Uh, but very, very cool solo and great emotional track uh, and great vocals. Uh, again, I'd like to know about the, the harmonising. Sorry, I've just got a bulb of pain just which straight across my forehead. Um, yeah, I'd love to know about the... Um, Sorry, the back the harmonised vocals because it, when it goes up a certain point, you can kind of feel that it sounds like Miles, uh, but could be Mark. So I'm not sure who's doing the backing vocals or the harmonisations on this song, but very cool. If you like the video, please do subscribe, click the bell icon, like, share, leave the comments down below, uh, and thank you very much for watching. That's of course how Dave does it.